Oh, Hakuma is rocking Viking actually, so this is actually pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. It's good, good stuff. I'm just really, really sorry. I have some uh, problems regarding the audio. I don't know why the uh, music the won't play for some society. strange reason. So instead <clears> of <throat> reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Heaven or hell. Perfect. They're letting the uh, the intro. Roll. This is what I like. Mazumakiro. <laughs> Nagoriyuki versus Duel one. Let's okay, here we go. First duel. Whoa, okay. Very, very strong start from Hakuman. Definitely not willing to let anything go by his side. Oh, and the big dust very, very early from zero. <laughs> that was a very early boost. Very nice stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, very nice uh, command grab right there from Zero, but yeah, Hakuman answers right away with uh, Thank you very much for the follow bottom and welcome to the Brojos. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, the very big DP follow-up from Zero. Definitely not willing to take any sort of uh, of um, Well, basically of uh, let's call it for the name <laughs> a pressure right there from uh, from his opponent. Okay, big tatami gaichi right there from Hakuman. He gets counter hitted by zero. Immediately taken to the corner. This is gonna be big, big, big stuff from him. Okay, hold. Oh, maybe this is the thing I needed to do. I'm an idiot. Okay, and first match goes to zero in a very, very, very strong fashion right here. Okay, I think I I, I found the, the problem. Come on. Okay, big yields on right there from. Okay, here we go. The Kabari Hakuman has zero in the corner. <clears throat> okay, again the Tatami guy. She definitely Hakuman is on the uh, on the offense right there. He doesn't want zero to get out of the corner. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Kabari from Hakuman, not punished by zero. Very nice counter hit right there from Hakuman in the air. He takes zero in the corner. He's gonna get a wall break right there. Didn't have the time to input the uh, the, the overdrive, unfortunately. But still, very nice stuff from both of them. Unfortunately, Hakuman it has a life deficit right there. Okay, he found his way out of the corner. He's gonna use the H, the um, your woman cancel and he's most certainly gonna get ah oh, actually yeah zero didn't say his last word was able to get out of the corner okay the double fuku right there okay here we go yeah hagman had to burst right oh and the yeah here you go he led the roof oh and the very nice crossover was able to take the win thanks to this there you go one round a piece let's see how it goes You go tatami guys here right there. Okay, very nice stuff. Ah, uh, here you go the Hail Mary from Hakuman. He didn't want to take any more pressure anymore. Very nice stuff from him. <clears throat> And yeah, and yeah, definitely Zero is just not willing to take any type of a uh, of, uh, momentum shift right there from Hakuman. Ah, and the empty, ah, and the low for the win. And here we go, Zero takes another one, puts another one on the board. Very nice stuff from him. And here we go. Okay, the big 2 HS right there wasn't able to hit his mark though. And the big tatami guy she 
There we go, another counter hit right there from Hakuman, but he just cannot like resolve to uh, keep his opponent in the in the corner for some reason. Okay, here we go, yeah. Ah, yeah, the pressure is real. The pressure is real, real right there. Yeah, and here we go, the wall break for the win. Definitely a strong statement again from, uh, from, uh, from Zero right there. He's definitely leading. Ah, <clears throat> uh, and the big dust right there. Very nice choice from Hakuman. He's gonna get some damage right there on the, uh, on the, uh, Oh, and the wake up super from Zero, and just like the Zero takes it, that was a very, very strong statement from. No, this is not what I want. Oh, finally we did it. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. I think we're good now. Should be okay. Ah, oh, finally we have the music. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, we're good. Okay, I love it that every single player have been waiting for their animation, their introduction in order to play this. I really love this. This is actually very, very hyping me up right now. Let's see how it goes. I'm really sorry for the audio. I had a real uh, hard time to try to configure all of it. I don't know why uh, it didn't work, but now it's working, so it should be okay. <laughs> it should be okay now. Perfect. <laughs> he basically asked her if she didn't need health insurance. Okay, here we go. So, Lion, a very a long-term user of Eno, actually. He's one of my senpai. He used her a lot longer than I did. And Lundberg is actually a new uh, player for the Broder Cup. It's the first time I see him play. So let's see how it goes. Okay, just right there, Ryan, Lion, unfortunately, was wigged by uh by lawn and yeah thanks to this lawn was able to uh, hit him with a instant overhead here we go the pressure is really real for ron here we go the double oh the triple actually <laughs> the triple uh stroke the big tree right there from a lion unfortunately his back dash gets hit by the uh, far overhead from uh, lawn very nice hover right there from lion he gets the uh okizima right there unfortunately yeah okay lawn is aware that of course the uh s version of the um, what's called the uh, stroke is not plus on block, so you can definitely hit your opponent right after it. Okay, here we go. This is the HS version, so you cannot hit after this. Very nice conversion from Lion. He's gonna get. Oh, he couldn't get the double uh, HCL, unfortunately. Oh, okay, the big counter hit right there on the S, uh, on the slash of Long right there. On, ah, and the very nice dive kick from long yeah not letting anything for lion to try to get back some momentum wow he actually low profile the notes this yeah this is one of the uh, perks of um of uh of faust he's able to low profile a lot of things by the way okay very nice stuff one round a piece it's actually not one-sided at all both players anybody it's really anybody's game Okay, here we go. Yeah, don't get too close to little Faust. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna hit you. <laughs> too bad. Very nice XP right there from Lion. Damn, the, your awareness of this man. But yeah, it's still not over till it's over. Okay, I don't know if it was intentional, but the note was definitely not on point. But thanks to this, it helped. It uh, permitted uh, Lion to actually use the, um, the command grab. So very nice awareness from, uh, from Lion. I don't know if it was intentional, though, but very nice stuff from him. Good stuff, good stuff. First match goes to Lion. Okay, it's not over by a long shot. Ronberg is definitely uh, uh it's <laughs> I probably wrote his name wrong. Yeah, it's let me check his name again. But it's okay, it's okay. Okay, yeah, uh, the little mini Faust is here for the save, definitely preventing. Oh, I actually had it correct. Perfect, it's Ronberg. I had it correct. Perfect. Oh, here we go, Tornikoti, Tornikota right there. Oh, and the attempt to grab Lion, unfortunately, the grabber gets grabbed right there. Okay, very nice awareness from Lon actually resorting to use the overdrive and then Roman canceled when he saw that Lion was not going to get hit by it. Good stuff from this. And the invincibility frames uh, from the overdrive helped Ron Burke to, tr to uh, successfully grab his opponent. Very nice stuff from him. Oh, here we go again, little Faust for the win. No, you cannot hit my master. You cannot, 
you cannot hit my big version, but very nice awareness from Line actually 6 p ing the uh, the 6 HS, I believe it is, from uh, from uh, Faust. Good stuff. Oh, and the Scarecrow, you are staying in the corner, you wiggy wiggy, <laughs> you wiggity woman. <laughs> okay, oh, and the Hail Mary for from Line for the win takes. The, okay, it's one around the piece yet again. Very, very tight uh, set right there from both players. Ron, definitely a very strong player. I wasn't expecting him to be uh, so, uh, to actually, well, you know, hold his ground against such a good player such as Lion. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nope, you are not continuing this onslaught on me. I refuse it. Here we go, the burst to keep Lon in the corner, and Lon still mashing his way, trying to mash his way out, and he should actually, he definitely should not let, um, you know, try to, uh, you know, impose her game on him, and very nice use of the HCL from Lion, this is not the first time he uses it raw, and hits successfully his opponent, and the little foul to save the day again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the, things are a little bit dire from Lon, to be really honest, but it's not over by long shot. Here we go. Boom, you have a wig. Will you go for the... Okay, is he... Oh, and he didn't use his burst. I would have so burst in, in his T right there. So it's okay. Two... Uh, two... Um, many. Two matches for Lions. Not over by, by a long shot, of course. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. The DHCL very nicely used by... Uh, by... Uh, well, by Lion, basically. I'm just going to ask you guys to wait a couple of seconds. I just need to update real quick something. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the cavalry for the save. And this time it was in favor of Lion, actually. Making great use of it. Okay, just one second. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna... Here we go. Should have done this before. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Finally, Ron putting one on the board. Well, actually put one on both... Uh, board previously, but this time around he takes it first. It should be actually interesting to see how things goes from there on. Okay, very nice, uh, very nice 2D right there from Alon. Yes, thank you. Okay, and here we go, the big Hail Mary from, yeah, from Lion right there. Okay, here we go, yeah, the double hover right there from, uh, the double hover from, uh, ah, and here we go, very nice stuff from Lon, he was able to take one right there. One, two, two, let's see how this will unfold, and wait for it. Okay, very early burst from Blonde. He definitely does not want to take too much pressure right there. Okay, here we go. The overdrive into the hard knockdown. This is going to be very, very one-sided for Lon Lion. Oh, here we go. Oh, and the, the very late note, actually. This actually ends up to hitting your opponent extremely late and gives you even more frame advantage. Okay, now I, I start to see and understand why he decides to uh, to use such a, a late, a delayed uh, note. Very nice stuff from him. There we go, the tournicotti, tournicotta. <laughs> okay, very nice grab right there from an awareness of the grab from a uh, lion. Very nice grab right there, and yeah, then. Lion takes it very, very uh, convincingly right there. Okay, next up is going to be Alice against Kakeru Togo. So this is a big, big match of two character specialists. Alice, who is an Eno player. We have three Enos tonight. <laughs> That's a lot of Enos, actually. It's very, very uh, un unusual, I would say. Usually, we don't have that many Enos. But yeah, today, we do have an Eno. Uh, a lot of Enos, actually. Here we go. First duel. Boom. Okay, very big close S right there from Kakeru gets the counter hit. 
and immediately uh, provokes the burst from Aris right there. A big gunflame right there. Couldn't get quite the uh, follow-up because the 5k was a little bit too, well, far from his mark. This time around, very nice reactionary 5k right there. Was able to, to, uh, to hit Aris out of the air and continue his combo into a wall break into the win. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, oh, okay, and Al is not afraid of throwing stuff. A big 6 HS. Just like this raw on Kakidu Togo's face. That was pretty entertaining. Okay, here we go. The dive to get out of the corner and the wow reactionary 6P on the uh, bended bringer from Kakidu Togo's. And that was pretty crazy from uh, from Alice. Very nice um, nice awareness. Oh, okay, here we go. He's going to get the wall break. Oh, and the... T okay, the 2D. Just no, you do not jump in front of me. Okay, he readied the uh, hover S into a Roman cancel in order to... Uh, it to instigate, to initiate a mix-up, but he didn't even need to do so because Kakiru was already over at, it was already open at that point in time, but it's still okay. Here we go, big banded revolver right there, still the onslaught is real nice, it really can go both ways. The, the, the continuous stroke right there, and Kakiru san really doing a good job of blocking all of these mixes to be really quite fair. Okay, Ali's still finding his way inside, and Kakiru's Kakiru's just holding to his burst. Okay, resorts to using the yellow room and cancel instead. Ooh. Nope. Okay, finally Kakiru-san uses his... Oh, okay, the big vortex right there to hit. Alice out of the air. He wasn't quite capable of getting the follow-up, though. This is not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill, but yeah, it's going to pressurize right there, but... Okay, Kakiru is on his last feet. Very nice. Oh, he could get the... Oh, he got the side change. That was crazy. The side change was still crazy. Alice did end up take, it, take this round, but the side switch from Kakiru-san was actually pretty masterful. Really, really entertaining stuff right there from both players, actually. Oh, Gary goes 6HS. He tried to punish the, uh, the 5HS from Alice. Wasn't quite close enough to do so. Here we go. Big counter hit right there from Kakiru-san. Oh, can he uh, provoke? Oh, what? The 2HS counter hits? The uh, Bandit Bringer? That was pretty crazy. Good stuff from Alice. Yeah, definitely out for blood right there. Yeah, he pushes Kakiru in the corner right there. Again, the 6P for the counter hit. This is actually pretty crazy. Oh, and Schmix this time right there from Alice. Oh, and the big counter. No, the big DP from Bane right there. Oh, okay, here we go, Bandit Bringer. This is time to bring some... This is the moment. This is your moment, Kakiru. Oh, and the double Fafnir, and this is gonna do... No, 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 no. Okay, okay, why not? Why not, why not? Okay, we, we take those. We take these. We definitely take these. Good stuff from Kakiru-san. Damn, that was pretty crazy. Yo, know, the counter it right there. This is gonna hit like a freaking truck. Oh, the big counter hit on those 5S from uh, from Aris right there. Okay, again using... Okay, this is really interesting. He says Alice has been using most of his follow-up of the hover into the uh, the uh, jumping S. He's been using the Roman cancel right after. I think he's instigating like a uh, a, a mix-up right after, right? probably. Okay, here we go. Banded revolver right there. Oh, no! The call-out from Alice right there. Why are you saying a little bit too close, mister? I'm gonna use the... Oh, and the... Oh, that was pretty crazy. That read was... Was really OD, actually. Good stuff from Alice. Uh, nope. Nope. Very use of the... Oh! <laughs> the 5k on the dive kick. That was OD, Kakeru. Really good stuff. Okay, oh, he takes a full note in the face right there. Okay, now, okay, you can see Kakeru using the 2s to punish the 6p attempts. And oh, Alice just calls him out on his burst right there. This hat must have hurt. Kakiru sound a lot. Yeah, this definitely hurt psychologically speaking. Oh, okay, and just running up in 5S right there. Oh, oh, you couldn't get the follow up a little bit too far for the follow up. And oh, the, the stroke, the HS stroke right there. Oh, and the dust. This is gonna do? No, this is not gonna kill, actually. Not gonna kill. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, he's gonna get hit. Kaboom! <laughs> and here you go. This is yeah. This is what. This is definitely what Kakiru wanted. Right there. He has his uh, his clip today. <laughs> Good stuff from Kakiru. You saw, he did have like two bars of tension. So even if it didn't hit his mark, he could have uh, he could have the uh, uh, Roman cancel right there. It's not a big problem. Here you go. Big gun flame. Using the twist to try to uh, definitely 
keep Alice on the ground. Not use this. Yeah, this is what he wants to punish right there. He wants to punish the 6P again. Oh, this summer, I think Alice in this. Oh, when you dust me, I dust you right back. <laughs> here you go. This is bonkers. It is, man. Three bonkers. Both very, very good players, by the way. Okay, here we go. Second round. Let's see how it goes. Ah, okay. Bandit bring it right there. Ah, this is gonna hurt a bunch right there. Yeah, you can see. Oh, and unfortunately, couldn't get the follow up. This is un this is unfortunate for Kakuto san I've really never seen him uh, drop this combo actually before. Oh, okay, very nice punish on the two S attempt on the two HS attempt right there from uh, from Kakuto san Very n oh, and the Fafnir. No, you do not jump out of this corner. Okay, here we go. Schmix time in. You are no, we drop, but it's still okay. He dropped, but it's still okay. Okay, 2 1 for Kakeru san. Very, very good stuff. Yeah, Kakeru definitely, like, uh, yeah, he's running the race right there. Definitely not letting himself get thrown out. Getting, uh, you know. Oh, there we go. Big gun flame right there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Kakeru definitely had to. He definitely had to burst right there. Oh, and the follow up. The. Age stroke right there to follow up and to catch the uh, backdash attempts. Okay, bad use right there of uh, whatever Alice wanted to do. I'm not quite sure to be honest. Okay, very nice confirm on the 2S right there. Right, uh, right after he used bended uh, revolver to follow up. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that was so close. Uh, yeah, bad, yeah, bad bended revolver here. Oh, very nice awareness from Alice. Yeah, definitely. Seeing that, uh, oh, yeah, that, that was too cheeky. That was definitely too cheeky. But yeah, you have to. You have to sometimes, I think. It was a little bit too cheeky from Kaguya san unfortunately. Okay, big present right there. And you are going to eat, my boy. You're gonna eat. You're gonna learn. Oh, and the very nice use of the, uh, yeah, the, the Psycho Burst. Uh, the Psycho crusher from uh from Anis. oh and he, he kakiru is dropping things left and right this is so uncharacteristic of him very very uncharacteristic from him oh and the, the jumping is this is a very violent bout right there yeah and i think yeah this is gonna be alice's yeah very nice stuff from alice puts another one on the board we have a match ladies and gentlemen definitely some good stuff right here <laughs> Okay, here we go. Back to the uh, to back to the match right there. Big volcanic viper right there. Yeah, and yeah, devil that was so dominating from Kakeru san So dominating, damn. Good stuff from him. <clears throat> oh, and the big two S right there. This is gonna hurt so freaking much. And the big volcanic viper. <clears throat> Ooh, ah, yeah, that hurts so much. And yeah, Kakeru-san takes it in a very, very convincing fashion. Yeah, so I'm gonna call him Gekiku. It's gonna be uh, a little bit easier like this. Okay, so Daruino, of course, Eno user, and Geki Kun, who is a Ram Lethal player. So let's see how this pans out. <laughs> okay, a big HCL right at the start of the game. <laughs> Daruino is definitely out for blood, even at the start, and big 6 feet to even prevent Geki Atsukun from getting out of the corner right there. Okay, start of the Rekka right there. Oh, and Daruino not afraid of, yeah, letting these 6 p rips. Like, seriously. Very good stuff from him. Ah, here we go. The 2S into the stroke, into the Roman cancel, into the bye bye. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is it. Good stuff from Daluino. Very, very dominant. <laughs> First round right there from Daluino as expected. Okay, very nice uh, jump into the uh, 2 3. Ah, 6. Ah, and very cheeky hover into the grab from Daluino Sensei. Here we go. Yeah. Ah, the notes into the schmixes you are not getting out and i think oh okay no he didn't even go for the wall splat he went directly for the command grab and this is gonna do yep first rule of the f first rule of a fighting game is do the thing that you your opponent wants you to do the least <laughs> if you follow this this rule uh rounds and rounds again you will always be successful in fighting games. do whatever your opponent doesn't want you to do <laughs> okay here we go 
Uh, okay, very nice 6P on the uh, jumping HS attempt from uh, from uh, from Gekiatsukun right there. Oh, okay, yeah, I get clipped by the notes, but still, yeah, Darwin was very on point on the, with the, the what's called the um, the um, anti-airs, man. Nobody can jump on him. That this is the most um, surprising aspect of uh, Darwin's plays. It's not the mix-up, but it's really his ability to negate any jump in from his opponent. Okay, again the 6P, man. You cannot jump on this man. Oh, there we go. He goes for the dive to get out of Expresso, uh, like, very, very quickly from the, again, the 6P, man. The use of the 6P of Darwin. Oh, and he smelled the DP. Okay, very nice use of the HCL, not the HCL, the Roman Capsule to make his follow-up safe. And just like this, Darwin takes it. Very dominant round right there from Darwin. Damn. Okay, very nice HS stroke right there to go under the, uh, the, uh, the, the DP motion of, uh, of Ram. And this is, yeah, this is gonna be a wall break right there. Very, very nice stuff from Darwin. Oh, okay, the 4S right there from Gekiatskun finally gets a counter hit in, but... Yes, as we see that, yeah, Darwin just preventing his... Oh, that was so cheeky. It was cheeky, but no, he gets clips nevertheless. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Second match goes to Darwin, 2-2-0. This is extremely one-sided right there, but then again, there's nothing to really be surprised about. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Naruino, man. <laughs> it's definitely Naruino. Damn. Okay, here we go. On to the third match. Let's see if Gekiatsukun can find something. Yeah, Ge Gekiatsukun definitely feeling ill at ease right there. And yeah, Naruino using the note to keep him on, uh, on the ground right there. Okay, very nice far slash right there from uh, Geki Atsukun. Get six feet yet again by Darwino. Okay, here we go. The schmixes are real. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Darwin. Oh, Darwino with the six P yet again, man. Yeah, you cannot jump on this man, man. You can't. You want to jump on him? No, you can't. And oh, and it does for the win. Good stuff from Darwino. And on to the set point right there. Here we go. How is it going to go? Uh, yeah, uh, again with the 6P, Darwino definitely on point with his entire end right after when he sees that his hit doesn't hit, he knows that he can still grab behind. And here we go, the wall splat. Yeah. Oh, and no, you do not jump out of this. Ah, uh, this is this is overwhelming, man. This is overwhelming. Darwino son is too strong. Too strong. Each other, uh, previously, I think, and Zero ended up taking it, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, chances are I probably am. But still, nevertheless, uh, there's always room for a comeback and for a revenge, and we definitely are uh, rooting for these types of uh, of situations, basically. And yeah, I love it that these two players led the intro role. This is what I like. I love it. I love it. Okay, anyways, here we go. Okie dokie, so Eno versus Nago. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Marlene. Hello, Marlene. <laughs> I'll play with you. Mm. <laughs> okay, here we go. So now go against Eno, who will be... Oh, and right off the start of the bad, we get a close S from zero. And he immediately resorts. Oh, and the call out on the burst right there. This was crazy from Zero. Good stuff from him. Okay, very, very gutsy uh, stroke right there from Lion. Definitely not willing to just take it. Uh, okay, and actually Zero used the HCL right there. Uh, not the HCL. Used the RC right there to uh, make it so that he could immediately start his onslaught back and punish Lion for the... Um, the wrongly used uh, Psycho Crusher right there. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the pressure is rear from zero and zero. Oh, he gets the counter. Right. This is going to be huge damage. The Conkits right there. Oh, and uh, yeah, this is going to do. Bye bye. Boom. <laughs> yeah, damage output of Nago is uh, is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff from zero and takes the first match. This was actually very, very quick. But it's still not over, man. Yo, and the bot. Uh, this was unfortunate right there for Lion. He's gonna take a huge amount of damage right there. And he, yeah, the command grab again. He went for the command grab. Nope. 
not on my watch. Perfect. Good stuff from Lion. Finally gets something. Oh, oh and zero. Get it. No, that was a fortunate zero. He got hit by the follow-up of the command grab. Ah. Oh, very nice grab. Damn, I didn't know you could do something like this. Oh, this is actually going to do... Oh, no, bad burst. That was an... God, that really wasn't a good burst from zero. That's unfortunate. But thanks to this, Lion actually stays alive. Okay, very nice use of the forest right there from uh, Lion. He punishes the DP attempt from zero. Okay, ooh, choo, choo, choo. ooh, and again he grabs him. Okay, okay, this is good to know. I didn't even know you could do this. Ah, oh, ooh, she clips him still. Yeah, he got the bag dash thanks to this. Ooh, very nice use of the 2k right there to punish the uh, stroke attempt from zero. And this should do, yeah. Good stuff from Lion definitely staying alive right there. He doesn't want to go to the loser's bracket for obvious reasons, but still good stuff from him. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop hovering. We don't want you to hover. This is the answer of zero. He does a uh, very nice 2 HS right there. And the concept to 40 wall break. Ah, the big 2S counter hit right there. And yeah, Lion is probably not going to burst. It would be under set. Ooh, but the concept misses, but still, the 2S is there to cover it up. And in order to get the win for it, good stuff. Oh, here we go, the Beyblade, man. Yeah, ooh, this is going to hurt. A uh, uh, very nice dive right there from Lion. Ah, uh, okay, very nice. You have the heavy stroke right there to go under the two HS. Okay, Schmix time. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna block forever. So, what is going to be the Oki? Okay? Up, down, up, down. Nope. Regular, no. Okay, regular up. Good stuff from Lion. He puts one on the board. No, actually, it's just one round. Okay, so the one who takes this takes the second, the third match actually. Oh, and the double Fukio. No, you are staying down. Yeah. Oh, okay, Zero definitely going ham right there. Yeah, he wants this. Oh, okay. He had the, the awareness of using the overdrive to maximize the damage and to get the hard knockdown, especially the hard knockdown. It's not going to kill yet, but it's definitely going to put some mental damage on Lion, who has to hold this. Oh, yeah, and use it. And uses the last of his health to uh, do Fukio in order to get the Blood Burst right next to Lion. If you do this, then your Blood Burst is for the most part uh, safe, usually if you do this. And hard to punish, definitely. Okay, here we go, the Beyblade, man. Yeah, Beyblade. Zero has been using the Beyblade a lot at the start of the round. Ah, okay, very nice awareness from Zero this time around. Yeah, he punishes the Psycho Crush attempt. Okay, full combo. Oh, what? Lion lit it. She dropped it. Oh, and ah, the cheeky command grab for zero right there. Okay, he does a follow up of the DP. He's got the corner pressure. Everything's going pretty good for him. He even manages to punish the, the dive right there. Full punish of the dive. Okay, the blood burst shouldn't should be a factor in not too long. Actually, no, it's not the case. Oh, yeah, and the concept to four. The kill. Good stuff from Zero right there. Oh, and the 2-H chest counter hit. Finally punishes the concept and the concept is still, even though it comes out after whatever uh, Lion wanted to uh, what button pressed, still Zero was able to get the concept to before it. It's crazy, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the note, you're staying in the corner. I am definitely taking this one. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I think it was a safe jump. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, here you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff from Lion. Good stuff from Lion. Damn, it's the final round from the from the third match right there. And both opponents got one match right there. The one who takes this is definitely going to have a big edge. Oh, and the weight. The weight to punish the whip grab right there from Zero. That was crazy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zero wary of any attempt of trying to use a uh, stroke on him. Yeah, just waiting right in front of Lion. Yeah, he's gonna have to... Yeah, he had to jump right there. And uh, yeah, you're dead. No! Oh, it's saved by the bell. <laughs> Lion was saved by the... Oh, yeah. And just stand... Uh, stand 5k. The standing uh, P right there from... So the Eno, man. The Eno. Not one Eno. It's the Eno right there. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, Kakiru san is gonna put up a good troll. Well, to be fair... Kakeru-san has been some pretty good players up until now. 
and uh, for example, player, the, the player named Player, he he uh, won against him. So and Player actually won against Daughter, you know, in in a tournament. So it's not impossible for Kakeru san to uh, actually do something against this. But yeah, right there, it's a pretty. Yeah, pretty strong statement from Daruino already. Yeah, oh, and a big GP right there from Kakiru san Definitely, he's had it. He doesn't want to deal with the pressure anymore. Okay, here we go. The big bandit bringer. He couldn't get the follow up. Oh, and the uh, that was so crazy. Ah, he's gonna. Yeah, oh, he couldn't get his combo. That's a, that's uncharacteristic of a. Oh, and the big GP. The, <laughs> the big GP. That was pretty. That was a crazy GP from Kakiru san Good stuff. Good stuff from. Oh, ah. Uh, the conversion from Daruino is definitely there. That was pretty crazy. Good stuff from him. Okay, big bandit bringer right there. Oh, okay, good stuff. Okay, Kakiru san finally had something going, but uh, no, he got hit, but kind of hit by the. Oh, and the Fafnir gets hit by the jumping S right there. Okay, very nice. Uh, very nice uh, blocks from Kakiru san. This time around, gets opened by a double hover. Okay, very nice for uh, for uh, HS right there. Oh, he got the counter hit. This is gonna be big. This is gonna be big. Ah, uh, he couldn't get the kill. He couldn't get the kill. Ooh. Okay, if anything. Oh, and the Bandit Bringer gets the chip, and Gakusan takes one one round right there. Good stuff. Let's see how it goes. If anybody can do it, it might be Gakusan actually. Ah, uh, and the double over. Uh, for the yeah for the damage right there uh, here we go to wall splat <laughs> yeah, who, who, who's afraid of wall splat when you have a DP okay here we go. okay good stuff to just to just block from Daru or crazy in the far is he always gonna get the board thing is the full punish oh oh he could have taken it Oh, and the wild throw for the win! Kageru san takes it! Damn! Here we go, man! <laughs> ah, good stuff! First match goes to Kageru san. Definitely proud of this dude, man. Proud of him. Good stuff from him. Okay, here we go. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, you can see that Daruino had changed his methods a bit. Yeah. Definitely more wary of. The uh, violent runs in from Kakeru san. Oh, very nice DP right there. And the big Fafnir is gonna get the follow up into huge damage. Okay, he forces the burst from Daruino. Ah, this is yeah. Ah, the Kakeru san should know that he can he can DP through the, the the notes by the way. But this is gonna do it. Very good stuff from Daruino san, of course. Very nice stuff. But yeah, Kakeru san definitely holding his own. This is crazy. Good stuff from. Oh yeah, th this is not gonna work. You should be careful. Okay, big bandit bringer. Oh, okay, that was a sick punish, by the way. Good stuff. Ah, yeah, and he gets he gets hit by everything right now. This is gonna be. He even got his burst baited. This is gonna be. It's not gonna be dead, is it? No. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, good combo from Darwin. That was pretty crazy. Oh. Ah, and the. Psych the psycho crusher from Daruino for one match right there. One match apiece. Come on, Kakiru san, you did it once, you can do it twice. Come on, we believe in you. Oh, and the gunflame gets hit by the flying the hovering S right there. Oh okay, the cheeky attempt of Kakiru san to hit Daruino. Right there. Oh, and the 6P man, the 6P. Oh, here we go. Oh, he got the conversion. Ah, damn it. Yeah, too bad. Oh, ah. And the DP whiffed. This is gonna hurt so much. Yeah, this is this is dead. Good stuff from Daruino san. Good stuff, good stuff. Mm. Okay, so things are looking a little bit more one sided this time around for Daruino. Yeah, Kakiru san is definitely being overwhelmed. But, but, oh, okay. Very nice to confirm on the counter hit right there into the run. Okay, was that intentional? I do not know. Ah, the DP this time, yeah. Daruino is definitely smelling blood right there. Starting to see that Kakiru-san is DPing a little bit too often, yet again it doesn't deter uh, Kakiru from DPing even more. Ah, they, they, okay, calm down Kakiru, you need to calm down, you need to calm down, yeah. Nah, stop! <laughs> stop DPing! The Sora sort de ce corps! Okay, here we go. 
Oh, and the dust, man. This is gonna kill, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna kill. Good stuff from, uh, from Kakekusa. <laughs> Kake playing out of his mind right there. It's crazy, man. Good stuff. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, again, the DP, man. Ah, and very nice awareness from Darwino from using the HS stroke to try to... Yeah, very nice. He's using... He's gonna use safe jumps from now on. He's definitely gonna use safe jumps, yeah. Oh, a little bit too... Oh, that was unfortunate. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff from darwino san but yeah, Kagyu-san is getting a little bit too heated, I think. He needs to uh, lay a little bit on the DPs. But other than that, he's doing actually pretty well against Zaru, you know, managing to take, like, le uh, rounds left and right. Ah! Uh... Okay, you can see Zaru, you know, using jump and IAD. Oh, very nice to S right there to check the, uh, to check the, uh, the stroke. Ah, uh, very nice stuff from... Daru, you know, yeah, definitely mixing it, mixing his options up. Wow, the bait on the 5k, that was godlike. He's trying to bait the DP, definitely. Okay, he's gonna get the conversion. I went for the tunnel! This is this. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff from Daru, you know. Okay, on match point, let's see how this goes. It is, is Takeru going to do a freaking magical, a magical... Ah, uh, yeah, he's pressing a little bit too many buttons right there. One button too many. Oh, and the Vortex. No, no! The 5k whips. Ah, uh, yeah, this is really, really annoying him, I feel. Oh, look at Bandit Bringer on the Punish. I don't really know, yeah, Kakiru-san is not, is not playing his normal game. He's being very, very stressed, I think. Yeah, he's doing a lot of errors right there. And this is actually... This is death, yeah. This is death. Oh, we're not, actually. Wow, by the, the skin of his teeth, man. Ah, is he gonna it? <laughs> this was unfortunate. But good stuff from... Uh, versus Ronberg. So, Ronberg, a very strong uh, Foss player. And uh, Hakuman is currently using Baiken, but he's initially a Giovanna main. But uh, he's actually playing uh, Baiken pretty cool. And pretty, uh, he has a solid, uh, solid Baiken, I mean. Uh, but... Since it's a new character for him, let's see how it goes against a very strong Foss player because Longberg is actually extremely strong. So let's see how it goes. We'll see what it is. And both players led the intro roll just like I like it. I like it. <laughs> Okay, good stuff, yeah. The intro of Biken is pretty badass, by the way. Okay, here we go. So fast. What is he gonna say? <laughs> Replace everything. You learn what your own words really mean. Okay, here we go. Biken versus Faust. Oh, okay. Ah, the very big strong start of the round with Ronberg with a counter hit right there. Okay, very nice stuff from, uh, yeah, Hakuman. Oh, the conversion was pretty good. Actually, good stuff from Hakuman. Oh, he couldn't get the, quite the, the follow-up right there, but it's still okay. Oh, okay, didn't get the follow-up of the Kabari. Probably afraid of getting six speed right there. Okay, very nice Yozansen right there to get out of the corner. Oh my god, he's going crazy with the Yozansen right there. Ah, a little bit too late on the, uh, on the Roman cancel right there. Oh, very nice XP right there from Hakuman. Damn. Boom. <laughs> and the snipe from Hakuman. Good stuff from my brother. Nice stuff. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Yeah, both players actually have uh, access to one, at least one normal who aims very, very far, especially Faust, by the way. Okay. Oh, dude, it was a little bit. Yeah. Ah, you're going to golf, my boy. You are going to the corner. You don't have a say in the matter. Oh, yeah. Oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Too many options right there. And very, very early Yozansen right there from Hakuman. He didn't get any type of conversion off of it. This is gonna do good stuff from uh, Ronberg. Definitely not going down without a fight right here. <clears throat> 
Ah. Okay, Tatami Geish right there. Ah, oh, the finally the Yozans find it smart. Yeah, Hagaman goes in, going crazy with the Yozans right there. Ah. Uh. Oh, and the counter, here we go. Hakuman using the counter right there. Oh, but very bad counter right here, actually. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, he got the... Uh, but very nice awareness of Lombri actually resorting to grab Hakuman to uh, prevent the uh, trumpet from bringing the little Faust and hitting him. Ah, uh, the very good conversion from Lombri. Actually, this is... Yeah, the, I thought he was going to kill. He did a little bit less than what I thought, and oh, and the teleport of the Scarecrow into the command grab, into the normal grab, I'm sorry, from Lonberg. He takes one right there, and Hakuman, yeah, uh, well, it's, it's still definitely not over. We'll see how things goes from there on. Hopefully, uh, Hakuman will be able to adapt a bit. We'll see. Okay, okay, IAD directly being entered by Lonberg. Ah, uh, the 4S right there into the 2, uh, the 2D confirmed from Lundberg. Ah, uh, yeah, and you have a Afro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn you up. Yeah, he definitely wants the burn. He definitely wanted the burn. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Okay, ooh, okay. Oh, and the counter yet again. Okay, he's gonna get the wall break. I thought, or not, actually. Yeah, sometimes, this is a little bit clunky. Sometimes it, it does whip. It's really unfortunate for Hagman that it happens right now. Here we go, Lomberg using the uh, super in order to get as many options as possible. And I'm not quite sure what's going on on this screen anymore. <laughs> because Faust. <laughs> because Faust. Oh, well, damn, that was crazy. The Scarecrow and fall down into Roman Cancel into um, Syringe, I suppose. You'd call it. Mm. Oh, get nice confirm right there from Hakuman. He has problems opening him up though. Very nice Satami Gaishi right there. This is gonna do a lot of. Uh, why does it whiff? Why does it whiff? Oh, and again the counter from Hakuman. Not afraid, man. Not afraid of using it. Yeah, does the thing. If you try to meaty bike a little bit too often, you're gonna get hit. You're definitely gonna get hit. Oh, very nice cross up from Hakuman right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Biken wins this round. Let's see if he can win the match. Okay, here we go. Lombard not. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is good. Lombard does know his uh, frame data right there. He knows that uh, actually, uh, even even if the Ozon sent hits raw, it's still not Biken's turn for some odd reason. Okay, very nice jump back from Hakuman right there too. Okay, he used the long version of the Kabari follow-up in order to get out of the corner. Very nice of awareness. I don't agree with the use of this uh, of this uh, Roman cancel, unfortunately, but uh, it worked out for him in the end. Very nice stuff. He puts one on the board. Hakuman staying alive. Just stuff from him. Mm. Okay, let's see how it goes. Good stuff from Hakuman. Okay, so one match apiece. Let's see if... Yeah, okay. We're still going on to the next battle. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and the big... Yeah. The big uh, dive... The big dive counter hit. Uh, unfortunately, it was the banana peel, <laughs> which uh, prevented Hakuman from, uh, from running, basically. Okay, counter, which didn't quite actually... Uh, counter, which was a little bit too early... Uh, too, too early right there from Hakuman. He couldn't get the um, the uh, active frames on at the correct time. Here we go. The huge onslaught from Hakuman, man. He doesn't want Longbird to do anything. Yeah, a little bit too late. The tatami guys, man. You should delay it a bit to get the cross. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> that could firm up the counter. That was crazy good stuff from Hakuman. Damn, that was really, really good stuff. Oh, there you go. Hakuman is really jumping quite a lot, in my opinion. Oh, okay, here we go. The command grab. This is, is this gonna combo? It is. Ah, it almost did. Ah, yeah. Hakuman going for the grab this time around. He gets read by Lonberg. Oh, okay. Very nice uh, counter hit right there. Oh, the Ryozan says. Oh, he could have gotten the follow up. He couldn't. He didn't, unfortunately. Oh, okay, here we go again. Ryozan sent. Ryozan sent. Man. Man, 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 so many Yozansen. Ah, uh, he went for the dust, cheeky dust. 
He would have won, by the way, if he did this. Yeah, yeah, but this time around his burst got baited. And he's in a pretty precarious situation because he won't have a burst for the final round. I get it. Quit. I get it. Okay, using this time probably to breathe a bit. Oh, Rumberg. Oh, and the command grab, man. Go boom, and you're gonna get instant. Oh, actually not. Ah, oh, yeah, the schmixes are real, and again with the command grab. Damn, that user on was really ambiguous, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah, and Hakuman, like, not willing to just stay down, you know? Yeah, definitely not wanting to keep his hand on the ground. You better be careful, Young Faust is there. Oh, and he didn't get hit by him! Okay, here we go. Yeah, Hakuman, he needs this one. He needs this one. Make it count. What is he doing? Why do you do this, Hakuman? It's not It's not a real thing. You're doing it too late. Oh, and the dust. No, and you died. <laughs> that was unfortunate, Hakuman. Why are you doing this setup? It doesn't work. You have to do the Tatami Gashi way earlier in order for it to hit, and then you go and do a crossover. Yeah, you're doing it too late, man. Okay, on to the potential final match. Let's see how it goes. Ah, and the entire 5p, 5p, 5, 5k, 5k. Oh, and Faust went for fishing and he definitely grabbed something. Ah, uh, very late burst from Hakuman right there. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 this is not going good at all. Ah, uh, and he had Faust for the win, mini Faust. Uh, oh, and the counter hit for the win. Very nice stuff. Oh, damn. Okay. Hey, what, what did... This is so strange. See, there was the beginning of the uh, of the overdrive of uh, Ron Ron Bell, but it's still the uh, the two HS from uh, Hakuman did hit him still in his startup print. This is really strange. Don't really understand why it happened. Did they take the what the invincibility frames off of him? Or? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the big counter right there is going to get the wall break. Ah, uh, things are looking pretty bad for Hakuman right now. Ah, uh, the two HS whips. Ah, uh, Yozan sent for the win, and you get hit. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Good stuff from Ronberg. GG's, he gets the final match, yeah. <laughs> Eat <that. laughs> Good stuff from Ronberg. Takes the Yozan against Lonberg Sound. So Lonberg Sound, we just seen a couple of minutes ago. Against Akuman san, a very, very, uh, well, proficient, I'd say, uh, Faust player right there. Really, really, um, well, definitely trying to optimize him as much as possible, and it definitely shows in his gameplay. Big counter hit right there, unfortunately, for Kakeyo san, he didn't convert it into anything. There you go, the onslaught has just started right now. I'll get dive, dive. Yeah, Lonberry really trying to prevent Kakeyo san from getting out of the corner right there. Oh, here we go. Mini Faust, definitely angry of touching the feet of of Dirty Soul. <laughs> okay, big 5H chest counter hit right there from kakeru -san. He's definitely pushing ever so slightly. Lundberg into the corner, even got the side switch right there. Oh, very nice 2 chest right there from, uh, from Lundberg. Oh, unfortunately, didn't get the follow-up on the 6H uh, the chest right there. Uh, it's not the 6HS actually, I think it's the 236W, uh, I think. Oh, the big banded revolver it finally forces Lomber. Oh, is he gonna. Oh my lord! That punish. <laughs> that punish was OD. Very nice stuff from Kyuzan. Catches Lomberg on the uh, way down from his uh, Naniga Delkana. From his uh, not Naniga Delkana. But, anyways, you, you catch the drill. Oh, there you go, Tornado. Mogu, mogu. Uh, ah, the big 5S counter hit right there from Kakeru Slan. Ah, okay, this is gonna do actually. Damn, the damage output. Ah, damn it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The big, big, big <laughs> counter hit right there. It even made my scene change. <laughs> it was so violent. Okay, here we go. Naniga del Kana. Hmm. Oh, the big 2HS right there. Uh, 
Okay, very big uh, DP right there from Kakeru-san. Uh, <laughs> very nice stuff from Kakeru-san managed to uh, throw the bomb at the opposite side of the... Uh, well, in a long, long direction, actually. Oh, okay, here we go, going fishing. This is gonna hurt. Oh, and wake up 5k, not even the DP, nothing. Just 5k, and this is it for Kakeru-san on the verge of taking this second match. Actually, I didn't update the score. This is one for Kakeru-san already. <clears throat> oh, Sha, ooh, that, yeah. Ah. Uh, Okay, finally, Lombre has something going on for him, but just like this, he gets a side switch again from Kakeru-san, and the pressure is back again, saved by the banana peel right there. Whoa, that was so deep. Stay on the ground where I can hit you. Nice conversion from Lombre right there. Good stuff. Oh, he got the, uh, the dive kick counter hit right there. Is he going to get the wall break? Hopefully for him, will. Ah, mogu, mogu, mogu. Oh, and Kagusan definitely not afraid of just letting the 5k rip. Good stuff, and this is gonna do a lot of damage. He's gonna get the Tyrant Rave right there. Yirane! Go Takua! Yirane! Oh, and the wild throw for the win! The second round goes to... Kag the second match actually goes to Kagusan as well. Good stuff. Okay, let's see for the... Uh, yeah, you can see. Yeah, Lumber is definitely is definitely struggling to get like <laughs> breathing room right there. Kakusa is definitely sticking to him like glue. Doesn't want him to get too far. Ah, uh, and the uh, dragon punch whiff right there from Kakusa. Somebody's still gonna get it. Yeah, good stuff. Volcanic Viper for the win and on to the match point. This was extremely, extremely quick. Ah! Bandit Bringa! Oh, okay, very nice 5k right there to catch Lomberg out of the air. Bring him in the corner and continue the onslaught. Oh, very nice confirm on the 4k, on the, yeah, on the 5k right there into the bandit revolver and just like this. Yeah, Lundberg is on the verge of getting eliminated right there. Okay, good stuff from Lundberg. Ah, and the command grab. Oh, it's not over till it's over. Ah, and again, 5k for the win. Good stuff from Kakeru-san. Takes it very, very high against Alice, the battle of the Enos. So let's see who is going to take it this time around. Who is going to be the better Eno? <clears throat> okay, okay, here we go. Early start from Lion right there with a uh, with a um, what's it called a, a dive kick. Oh, the big six HS counter hit. You couldn't get the follow up though, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, but Alice is definitely not out of the woods yet. Took an overdrive right to the face in the corner. Very nice empty low from Alice. Takes the first round. Again, the HCL right there. Very nice use of the HCL right there from Lion in order to keep Alice on the ground. You don't want her to go anywhere else. Again, the HCL. Very nice stuff from, Al from Lion. He gets the command grab and this should probably take it. Hmm. Very nice stuff from Lion. He's the first round, the first match, actually. Good stuff. Mm. Okay, very good. Here we go. Early grab from Al from uh, Lion again. Really just preventing, uh, from preventing. Alice from doing anything, from getting out of the corner, from doing anything. Good stuff. Here we go. The big command, not the command grab, the counter hit on D6 HS. And the perfect statement from Lion. This is really one sided right there. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, ooh, the very good use of the 6 spear right there from Lion and the 2S counter hit right there. Oh, very nice cheeky use. Oh, and the burst bait. That was crucial for Alice if you wanted to make a turnaround right there. Okay, here we go. Oh, mix up sign denied by the yellow room and cancel right there. And just like this, Lion is back on track, back to bringing Alice in the corner. Ah, this is gonna be big. Yeah, the counter, the, the, the wall break right there is gonna get the positive. Oh, and the 2S counter, this is gonna be huge. Okay, here we go, Schmix time. And no denied again. <laughs> denied. <laughs> Good stuff from Lion. Takes the second match. As well, very, very one sided. Let's see if Alice. Yeah, probably the way that Lion plays is probably not the way that uh, Alice prefers, I suppose, which is, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a requirement if you want to, <clears throat> to to beat someone in a video game, to play the way that he doesn't want you to play. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the onslaught is real and the base, bur the burst made by uh, by Lion, but yeah, uh, the, a little bit too late for the punish, unfortunately. But still, okay, he was still able to keep the to keep the pressure right there. Very nice recognition from Alice that the that uh, Lion used the uh, S version of the strokes, which is not uh, plus on block. Okay, here we go. Finally, could get this mix. But this time around, Alice actually resorted to blocking it. it was, this, this is unfortunate. Okay, very nice stuff from Alice. Got the a very, very hefty combo, actually. Oh, couldn't get the punish on the way down. And Lion going ham with the strokes, man. Oh, and if you get hit, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Good stuff from Lion. On to the match point right there. Lion really smelling blood, man. He definitely wants to go to this loser semifinal right there. Here we go, the stroke set up. You are going down, Mr. Ooh, a very hefty, a very cheeky use of the um, dive kick right there from Alice to try to get out of the corner, but Lion just really on point when it comes to using the 6P to prevent uh, Alice from doing not, you know, it's crazy. Boom, here you go, full dust charged um, the wall breaker in the corner. Okay, very nice. Very nice dive there from. Alice, yeah, there we go. Getting a little bit desperate right now. Uh. <laughs> oh my God, Lion really on point with the with the freaking uh, the the blocks, man. And just like this, Lion takes it, man. He takes it so freaking confidently. I've never quite seen to the next match. Finally, I got it correctly. It's gonna be Kaguya against Lion. Here we go. Yoroshiko Nishimas. They both players have played against each other uh, several times, I think. Most of the time it was Kakiro-san who took it, I think, again. Not quite sure. Let's see how it goes. Okay, far S right there from Lion, definitely. Ooh, the big 2S counter hit right there to punish the stroke from Kakiro-san. Yeah, he's definitely getting in there. Punish the uh, 6P attempt by using the gun flame right there. We're gonna get the uh, Tyrant Rave into the wall break. Lionson does have a uh, tension right there. He might want to wake up using uh, the overdrive, but he didn't. Actually, very nice use of the HCL, and unfortunately for Lion, Kakiru uh, well, catches him with his, uh, his uh, vortex right there. Oh, okay. Big use of the, uh, the dive kick right there. Oh, yeah, the 5k comes out extremely quick. You need to be wary of that. Very nice 6p counter hit, but Kakiru-san answers back in. Oh, with the uh, DP right Oh, and even... No! Missed time punish on the burst. It was... Okay, I think it, this is... This is gonna hit... Damn! Three on three, man. <laughs> Kakiru-san has been on point with the... Uh, with the cemetery mob punishes, man. Three on three. This is third time he uses it correctly. Good stuff. Actually, one time... Uh, four on three. One time he did it against Daru-san and Daru-san and punished him. Actually, but it's still very nice stuff. Good stuff from Kakeru-san. Okay, ooh, damn, he had time to punish him with the 5k. Oh my lord, this is gonna hurt. Full punish. No, he couldn't get the follow up, but it's okay. Oh, damn. Uh, counter, <laughs> counter. Oh, okay, and just a 6 HS for the win right there. No use of the. Oh, damn it. No use for the. Uh, for the overdrive. Okay, you go Bandit Revolver, still got Lion in the corner, and the big Vortex. This is gonna hurt like a mother humper, man. There you go, he gets the wall break. 
Okay, 6 HS found nobody home. Ah, he couldn't go with the Schmix time, unfortunately. He probably wanted to confirm the Bandit Revolver prior to uh, Roman cancelling. And just run and grab. This is the trademark of Kagami. <laughs> Here we go, he takes the second round. Extremely convincingly. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, on to the next battle. Oh, you're really not afraid of just running straight up and hitting buttons, man. Oh, okay, big bandit bringer counter hit. This would have led to a conversion. Ooh, counter hit. This is gonna hurt so much. Oh my god, Lord, look at the damage. Look at the damage, man. Damn. Oh, Vortex. Nah, and yeah, no. <laughs> Even if it's with, you're dead. <laughs> Damn. Poor Lion. This is, yeah, this is, this is really one-sided. No! Finally, oh, he actually manages to get the uh, burst bait right there. Okay, yeah, Lion, uncomfortable right there. Probably wary of uh, of Kakeru just using the DP. Oh, very nice stroke right there to follow the uh, the back dash attempt. Okay, here we go, Lion, back on track right now. Let's see, is he gonna get it? Yeah, this is gonna kill. Well played, good stuff from Lion. Hmm. Okay, on to the next battle. Ah, the big 2S, 5S in the guts, man. And yeah, kageru san just, just steamrolling everything in his path right there. Ah, Bandit Bringer, oh, he couldn't even get the punish on it. Ooh, the dust. Ah, kageru san so violent right now. This is crazy. Oh, big 6S uh, counter hit right there. Okay, nice stuff from Lion. Changing, mixing, mixing things up. On the verge of getting eliminated, he really needs this round if he wants to stay on the alive. Okay, here we go, Lion. Oh, and he got it. Good stuff. Good stuff from Lion. He got. Oh, he was lucky there. <laughs> he was lucky, but still, he got it. So it's okay. Good stuff. Got the command grab uh, for the win. Puts one on the board. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> Oh, Bandit Bringer. Big Bandit Bringer on your face. Okay, here we go, Lion. Going with the resets. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and the big counter hit on the close S right there. Uh, the the close uh, uh, HS. Ah, uh, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go, Bandit Rave. Uh, Tyrant Rave. And you dead. Yeah, you dead. You died. Oh, okay, here we go. Is Lion going to be able to perform another miracle? We'll see. Ah, uh, Kakyo-san just, yeah, they worry that Lion is not afraid of, is afraid of him and just, Kakyo-san just... Oh, damn, this is not good. Oh, not good. Okay, very nice stuff from Lion. Still can open up uh, Kakyo. Kakyo is very solid when it comes to the mix-up right there. Okay, here we go. Okay, nice optimization station. Let's see if I get to a Ah, uh, ah, uh, you don't want to get hit. Ah, uh, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Ah, uh, yeah, you had to. Uh, no! No! Oh, my heart. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> my heart is gonna let go. Oh, my lord. Ah, I guess I'm not afraid of pressing buttons. Just straight up running towards Lion, man. Oh, yeah, the big counter hit. Uh, this time, this time, this time. No, 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 no. What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh, let me go. Let me go. Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I'm not letting you go. Oh, wow. That was really, really, really violent. Winners final zero against Daru. You know, both players have been extremely dominating during this current uh, session. So. I'm actually looking forward to how this is going to unravel. Zero, a very, very strong Daru, uh, Nagori Yuki player, whereas Darino, well, you know, is the Darino, the best Eno you know, player in the world. So let's see how this unfolds. Oh, they're very big concerts right at the start of the round. Oh, and the 2HS, which picks Darino out of the air right there. Oh, the big 5S. Punish and oh, and this is gonna be so. This is gonna hurt. Bye bye. Uh, perfect. Are you serious? 
that was a perfect from zero on that you know right at the start of this uh set right there that was big okay oh, damn that four that four punish that four punish was OD good stuff from that you know okay he's gonna answer with the perfect from his own let's see as yeah, zero currently in the Darino mixes is very nice bag that from zero oh, okay nice stuff from Darino with the 6p right there to punish the uh the well the the standing p attempt from zero after his concept oh okay, here we go oh nice stuff nice 2d to catch the bag that from Darino Darino trying to jump out of the corner right there okay blood rage is gonna be a a problem blur is definitely gonna be a problem and the two h's gets caught oh and the bait on the burst nice awareness from daru right there aware that yeah the burst came back just in time for zero so he's probably one to one two to use it oh okay here we go the clash on the five k the five team right there oh and the big hover counter and from darino yeah the, the, he's sensing that zero likes to back dash in the corner he's altering his uh his uh, over dash, his over timing. Here we go, the big optimization station from Darwin right there. <clears throat> oh, and the HCL to catch his back dash, and yeah, this is the good stuff from Darwin. Very, very dominant. Started with the perfect, well, not so much right now, <laughs> but good stuff from Zero. Still uh, trying to stay alive right there. Let's see how it goes. Ah, yeah, yeah, the big counter right there on the 2SHS. Okay, you can see that you know, understanding that Zero likes to Fukio right after a burst. Oh, and the big 6 spirit right there is gonna hurt a lot. <clears throat> Good stuff from Darino. You got the perfect, the big statement from Darino, man. You perfected me the last time, I'm gonna perfect you right now. <laughs> Big statement, yeah, you can see Zero afraid of, uh, of anti-airing, I think. Uh, afraid of using even 6p to try to cover the, the, his, his air zone, but yeah. Darwin will just keep rolling on everything right now. This is, yeah, a little bit hard. Yeah, trying to bait the burst as well. This is, oh, not even, no time to burst even. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. Oh, got the, the 2 HS. Ah, uh, and the concept gets, ah, uh, gets... Not even time to get the follow-up. This is a very, very dominant. <laughs> very dominant play from Darino, man. This is pretty one-sided. Pretty crazy. As expected. Uh, here we go again. The over HS, man. The oh, and using the HCL to cover his... Oh, and again. Oh, this is gonna hurt like a mother humper. Good stuff. Ah, damn, these combos, man. Oh, here we go, the HS throw to go underneath the 4S, and here we go, and Zero got no, he had the correct idea to backdash it, but he, he didn't, yeah, he, he, by, by reflex, he probably pressed the, the, the what's called the, uh, the grab, by reflex, unfortunate. Ah, and the stroke, heavy stroke to catch the backdash, good stuff from Arino. Oh, good 2HS right there. Okay, staying alive. Very nice grab. Ah, he's gonna get hit. Good stuff from Darino. Aware, man. He's aware. He's aware. And this is probably gonna do... Yeah, this is gonna do... Well played from Darino. That was very, very dominant from how this unfolds. Both uh, players have been extremely uh, aggressive and uh, pretty much just like winning all the time but both have been sent to the losers bracket by Daruino the current holder of the uh winner side of the grand final so let's see how this unfolds very nice concept right there from zero okay immediately gets calculated in the corner a big close s on counter at this hurt like a mother humper very nice confirm on the 2s into the bandit revolver from kake oh gets shipped by the 2hs counter hit okay, here we go Oh, very nice stand-in K right there. He's going to get the side switch as well. Oh, he got the full combo. Good stuff. He's going to get the wall break as well, actually. Boom. Here you go. Get out of here. I don't like uh, robotic vampires. Oh, and he's just run up and run up and S. Oh, can not get him to... Oh, oh, to... Uh, 
Oh, so this really got chip. Oh, what? Yep, yeah, this is gonna be death. Good stuff from Akira. We go on to the second round. Wow, Contessa gets D4. Uh, gets his opponent extremely far. Oh, and the shimmy. Oh, and the, oh, the shimmy into the, the burst bait. And again, the shimmy, man. Damn. No, and the. Yeah, that was definitely a uh, input error. And this is gonna do. Tyrant Rave. Rave. Good stuff from Gaius and puts one on the board. Rigway Zero going to adapt. Or is this. Or is this going to be the end of his tournament run? We shall see. Okay, big burst right there. Early burst from Zero, actually. And early burst from Gaius as well. Doesn't want to deal with any type of pressure. Okay, very big S, uh, standing S counter hit right there. Gonna do a lot of damage. Very nice follow up right there. Nice setup to keep the pressure going. Okay, Zero a little bit lost right now. He's gonna get Vortex and this is gonna do very nice stuff from Kagari huh? Extremely dominant performance from Kagari by the way. <clears throat> ah, that 6P man. Good stuff from him. Damn. Fight, l l watching this tournament again m made me want to play Eno again and play tournaments. Oh, there you go. Good stuff from Kakiru san he's gonna get ah he's gonna, gonna get for s right there oh here you go fafnir in your face and yeah of course you have to let it rip like it was yeah it was way too one-sided right there you had to let it rip i totally agree with uh with kakiru san good stuff okay zero zero what are you gonna do ah here we go okay okay sending uh p for the win good stuff from uh, from zero finally puts one round on the board it's not enough though to take the whole match we'll see how it unfolds okay here we go just one second hmm. okay here we go uh, sorry for the wait oh the big counter hit right there from zero He's probably gonna take it. Yeah, he's definitely gonna take it. Good stuff from him. Nice stuff from Zero. Puts one on the board as well. Okay, one match apiece. Who is going to be the one facing the absolute last boss of this? <laughs> the last boss of this uh, of this encounter. Doubt we know. <laughs> okay, very nice 6P right there. Counter hit by Zero. Very nice whip punish here for you. From Kakuyu Togo also. Okay, ever so slightly pushing zero towards the corner. A very nice confirm on the 4S uh, HS into the Bandit Revolver as well. Wow, the Fukio back, the back Fukio into the 2 HS also was pretty crazy. Thank you for the following Takuhin and welcome to the Brawl Joes. Okay, here we go. The oh, get this time around. Kakiru san doesn't take the bait. Ah. Uh, yeah, you had to. Oh, and yeah, the concept for the trade for the win. Good stuff from Zero. Okay, he's currently taking the lead ever so slightly. And the DP into the 6P counter. Okay, very nice. <laughs> if, what, if, if at first you don't succeed, just do another 6 HS. Okay. Ah, nice stuff from Zero, man. Ah, this is gonna hurt. No more life. Yeah, of course, you overdrive for the heavy knockdown plus damage plus lowering of the blood gauge. This is all you like to see. Okay, yeah. Uh, Kakiru-san hanging by the th a thread. His life hanging by a thread right now. Okay, he's forced to YCL. Oh, and again the Shimmy. That's, that's been working for him so freaking good. Ah, and the 4K for the win. The summer round zero takes the lead with 2-2-1. Is Kakiru-san going to be able to change his gameplay and find a potential way to reverse the momentum? Or is it going to be bye-bye for him? We'll see right away <clears throat> don't get far hs he's definitely trying to whiff punish right there but unfortunately kakiru san finds the way in very nice six hs right there unfortunately for him trades if it didn't it definitely would have given uh kakiru san the advantage but it's not a problem he's gonna take this ah, actually not okay my bad Okay, very nice setup right there again to get a perfect 5k meaty. 
Kaguya-san takes the lead on this particular match. Let's see how it goes. No, and the Konsetsu hits so freaking far, man. The Konsetsu is so freaking crazy. It's so freaking far. Oh, okay, here we go. Was it the fact? Yeah, I think it was a 5 HS. No, here you go, 5 HS again. Damn, yeah, definitely fishing for these five for the uh, for something. Okay, the six HS to punish the six the six P and a temper right there. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Bye bye, kaboom. Yeah, <laughs> right in your face. Good Wasude Yuki right there from zero. Gonna get a uh, Noki, I think. Oh, a small one, but still. Oh, very nice bag that from Kagiyo San. He definitely thought there was going to be. Uh, follow up, but no, you thought that the burst was definitely gonna be activated. Oh, that punish on everything that is your dead and the five S for the win. Good stuff. Okay, one. Oh, actually, thank you. Son takes it. Here we go. Two round, two matches apiece. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and the big with punish right there from zero forces the burst from Kakeru. Ah, yeah, the 6P doing such a good work at keeping Kakiru at bay. Oh, but a very unfortunate Fafnir counter hit in favor of Kakiru san pushes zero out of the corner. But damn, yeah, Kakiru san definitely is traveling all over the world right there. Boom! Good stuff from Kakiru san. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, this 5P doing the work of keeping Kakiru san out of his way. Ah, yeah, and the close HS for the win. Set point, let's see how this unfolds. Oh, the Konsetsu is unfortunately is on the log, but yeah, zero in a precarious situation right there. He has to hold it. Oh, that ah, oh, the 6P is doing such a good work at punishing uh, both the 5HS and the 5S of Kagyu-san. Okay, there you go, Volcanic Viper, and yeah, he's gonna hit it. Unfortunately. <laughs> Big Wasuri Yuki right there gonna take back the momentum in the Oki. Oh, he just went. Oh, and the first bait that was sick. He went, oh, and he does for the win. And Kakiru, just like this, Kakiru san takes it. He's sent to these. Uh, grand final is gonna be Dario Ino, the Ino against Kakiru Togo, the Saul. <laughs> one day, one day, it'll be the Saul. And this is the grand final. Really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, Darino is the one who took, uh, who sent actually Kakeru Togo in the losers, but thing is that Kakeru is the only one in this uh, tournament to have been able to take a match off of Darino. So let's see if he's able to uh, make this happen a second time. Very nice use of the uh, of the just defend to uh, punish the 2S attempts from uh, Kakeru san. Ooh, goes over the gun flame, unfortunate for Kakeru san right there. Oh, very nice to us right there. This was really, really good, so. Ah, the 2S counter. This is gonna hurt like a mother humber. Okay, oh, this is a this is something I didn't know. Okay, the YCL. Ooh, he's gonna get a full combo right there. Ah, nice jump back from Dadorino. Gets the shell right after. He's gonna get the kill. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from Dadorino. Takes the first round. Ah, nice low this time around. Kagusan has troubles keeping up with the onslaught. Very nice stuff. You can see that, yeah, Darino is resorting to use his jump back and then the IAD in order to go in front and land right in front of Kakeru. Yeah, yeah. Kakeru has to do something about this, I think, if he wants to. Oh, okay. Very nice, very strong 2S right there. Oh, here we go, the DP. Oh, this is a big. Yeah, Fafnir. Uh, and the, yeah, the grab that unfortunately goes. Oh, okay, here we go, the HCL. Damn, Daruino definitely on point, man. Not letting anything go. Not letting anything go. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Very nice MT there from Daruino. He takes the first round. Let's see if uh, Kakyo is able to find any sort of adaptation. Oh, very nice 5k right there. Okay, just running straight up to him. Oh, very nice bandit bringer. He couldn't get the follow up, but it's still okay. He got the wake up. Ah, nice 6p right. No, that was an unfortunate burst. 
Okay, nice stuff from Kakeru. That nice stuff from Daruino, yeah. Really just doing a number on Kakeru, really preventing him from really doing anything. It's crazy. I'm definitely using this from that one. Wow. Okay, the 5k on guard, just defend it. Oh, that was a that was a deep vortex right there. Oh, and here you go, the five H, uh, the five stroke for the answer. Ah, ah, here we go, the grab. Yeah, Darin will definitely not willing to let anything go, man. Really using these, uh, yeah, these jump A. I ate he's so good. So so good from Darwin win. Now here we go deep dive. Confirm for the win. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Well some damage actually. Not too not a lot actually. <laughs> okay, here we go. No and just run and probably grab yeah, the other Ah and you jump off! That was so intelligent from Darwin, you know, using the uh the overdrive to punish the way down of uh Kakiru Togo. Straight into it. That was pretty nice. Yeah, this is something else, man. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Kakiru definitely, definitely struggling right there. It's understandable, man. This, this is Daru, you know, man. <laughs> There's not much else you can say, man. Okay, big. Okay, finally an attempt of DP right there from Kakiru Sun, but as soon as you got a, a slither of momentum back, like Daru, you know, just steals it from him, man. Wow, yeah, the, the pressure is real, the pressure is real, the pressure is real. Yeah, Kakiru Sanjo is struggling to stay alive, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Indeed, wow. This is what I... Oh, I damn, yeah. Okay, finally, finally Kakiru Sanjo gets something. Yes, he got the Bandit Bringer, but still, man, gets... He immediately gets counter hitted by, by Darino, man. Damn. Oh, the combos are real. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my lord! And just like that, man, Daru, you know, is your bro joke.